Well, for months, we've been telling you about the dangerous threat posed by these the block right switches. They instantly turn a semi-automatic weapon into a fully automatic one. And these small devices have been seen in multiple recent cases yeah. now, from the Kennywood shooting last September to the gun that was fired at officers following the killing of Brackenridge Chief Justin McIntyre. And Channel 11's Nicole Ford got an exclusive look at how these switches work and how the Allegheny County DA's office is planning to get them off the streets. It's a small piece of plastic or metal. Most people won't even be able to see that it's attached to the gun from afar until the shooting starts. But it's becoming one of the most dangerous things in our area. And tonight, the district attorney wants criminals to know if they're found with a Glock switch, they'll be facing hard time. You hear it. Then you see the damage that a Glock switch or modified automatic gun can do in a matter of seconds. So this is becoming disturbingly a trend. I was able to see firsthand the difference by shooting an unmodified Glock today with county police firearm instructors. The amount of shots I fired in the same time, just a fraction. Since September, police across Allegheny County have pulled seven cases in which Glock switches were used. These are pictures of the guns from two. One used in the Kennywood shooting in September, and the other was used by Aaron Swan Jr. in a shootout with police in Homewood after shooting and killing Brackenridge Chief Justin McIntyre. Now these gun cases are being pushed up from the district attorney's office to the U.S. attorney to crack down on this type of weaponry. That all over this country there is direction from Washington, D.C. to the U.S. Attorney's offices that this is a priority and we got to stop this before it becomes a problem. It may not look like much, but these tiny pieces of plastic or metal attach to a regular gun and make them automatic. Now you'll be facing hard time for just having the Glock diversion, even if it's not attached to a gun. Simple possession of those items on that table, that can get you up to 10 years. Depending upon your background, the criminal history, and get you up to 30 years. If you're twice, three times a felon, uh, you're looking at life. On top of those charges, the DA is looking at charges of conspiracy because he believes these modification items are being moved in a certain market. Reporting in Uptown, Nicole Ford, Channel 11 News.